Hello and welcome to Road Gear Reviews. I'm Josh from the Freedom Theory and today I want to show you the Blue Fire Semi-Rigid Flexible Wireless Endoscope. Now if you're wondering what an endoscope is, it's something like this that has a little camera on the end and it lets you see inside things or see inside people. It's something your doctor might use, although this one is not designed for seeing in people so please don't try that at home. This one is designed for looking inside your RV, your truck. Now there are a number of things that I like about this. As you can see, it is uh, quite long. This is about 6.6 .6 feet long. Now, at the end of this endoscope, there are six LED lights that are actually very bright. And you may have noticed in the name, it was described as semi-rigid and you can see why. So if you need to get it positioned somewhere, uh, you can do so. Um, it's pretty rigid up to about a foot out or so and you can get it positioned. Now the reason that I got this endoscope particularly is because it was one of the only ones that I could find that was wireless for a good cost. I really like the wireless endoscope because you don't have to have it connected to the charging port on your phone. You can just set your phone or your tablet to the side and uh, you can just set your phone or your tablet to the side and then position the endoscope how you need it positioned. The wireless range is up to 15 meters, so you can have your phone or tablet up to 15 meters away from the endoscope. And it also does take pictures and record. So the it actually has six resolutions that it can record in, with the largest one being 1280 by 720 pixels, which isn't a very high resolution, but it's more than enough for you to see what's going on or to take a picture or a video to show somebody else. Now the way that you use this is really simple. It doesn't require any Bluetooth tethering or anything like that. When you flip it to on, a little Wi-Fi network will show up on your phone or tablet and that Wi-Fi network will just be called Endoscope. Now this little knob here controls the lights and it's really that simple to use. As you can see, I've got it on right now. The lights are turned all the way down, and as you can see, they actually get really bright when you turn them up. Another thing that I like about it is that it doesn't have any batteries you need to replace. It actually has a micro USB charging port right here. It's got a built-in lithium battery, and uh, the micro USB charging port is what most people will be charging their phones or tablets with already, so chances are you have one of those lying around. Another nice feature of this is that it is waterproof. This is perfectly fine to stick down a drain or anywhere where there's water. However, it does not have a magnet on it. There are some endoscopes that have a built-in magnet right here. So if something falls down a drain, you can actually fish it out with the endoscope. That's not what this is designed for. And for our needs, that's fine. Now this is quite easy to set up. As I said, when you turn it on, there will be a wireless network that shows up called Endoscope. You don't have to set the password for that network. You are actually going to connect to it through your phone or your tablet. You're not going to connect to it through the app. So you don't need to change the password or anything like that. You just connect to the wireless network on your phone or tablet. This does support Android devices that are 4.4 or above and any iOS devices that are eight or above. So it's supported by a wide range of devices. And to set it up, it's very simple. There is a QR code in the manual that you can scan. That QR code is, they have one for Android and one for iOS. So you can scan that and it'll take you to the website to download the app. That's not the way that I would recommend doing it just because at least on the Android, you're going to have to enable what's called side loading which just lets you install apps from unauthorized sources. What I would do instead is just go to the Google Play Store. Again, this is for Android. I don't have an iPhone. I would go to the Google Play Store and just get the Wi-Fi View app. And the name of that app is also in the manual. So once you have that app, you just have to turn it on while your phone or tablet is connected to the wireless network. And you're good to go with one caveat caveat is this. If you're running an Android phone that's 7 or higher, then you need to turn off your mobile data to have the camera work. That's not a problem with the endoscope. That's actually a problem with Android 7. I don't know if that's deliberate or if it's a bug, but the issue is that 
when there's a Wi-Fi network that doesn't have internet access, Android 7 automatically just tries to go over your mobile data. And when it does that, it can't connect to the camera on the endoscope. So that's the issue there. So you do have to turn off your mobile data if you're on Android 7 or higher, or else you're just going to see a black screen. I originally got this endoscope just because I thought that it would be a good thing to have around. Sometimes when I was doing work on the RV and needed to get my hand in somewhere where my face and eyes couldn't get to. I would actually try to position the phone with the front facing camera on where I could kind of see the screen of the phone and work and it was just getting way too complicated. So I got this endoscope just to have around. One of the first things that I used it for was about four o'clock in the morning at a gas station in Georgia when our water pump went out. I found myself under the truck with the endoscope checking out the water pump just to see if that was a problem. Some other things that I've used it for one time we had our slides not working correctly. Actually, they weren't working at all. They wouldn't come in or come out. It ended up being a circuit breaker that I didn't even know existed. So when I got on RV.net and asked for help, they said, well, check the circuit breaker and here's where it should be. I couldn't find the circuit breaker. So I actually took pictures with the endoscope and somebody was able to tell me based off those pictures where the circuit breaker was. We've also used it just up in our roof to check where our studs were so we can mount the TV. I've used it to check behind drawers. One very important thing that I use this for is checking when I'm drilling into the walls of the RV to make sure that I'm not going to hit any wiring. One time the endoscope actually saved my bacon because I would have hit some wiring. I drill a small hole through just enough to put the endoscope through and I get in there and look around and there's one time that I would have hit several pieces of wiring if I had just tried to blindly drill through. As much as I like this product, I'm sure you've heard the saying that you get what you pay for and that's certainly true here. This is priced lower than most of its competitors and there are a couple of corners that it cuts. For one, it doesn't have any side mirrors on it or side lights. Also, the resolution is a little bit lower than higher priced products and it doesn't have a magnet on the end to fish things out of a drain. In spite of those things, I really love the product for the price. So this has been my review of the Blue Fire Semi-Rigid Flexible Wireless Endoscope. I'd like to thank you for watching and also encourage you to leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've used this product or similar ones. Also, we'd love to hear what you would like reviewed and what types of products you would see on this channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, share this video with your friends, and until next time, we'll see you on the road.